All right, chicos, let's look at possessive pronouns. Now, first off, I hope you will have gathered by now that I'm not a massive fan of getting neurotic and overthinking what does this, what's this grammar called? I want to get you guys out there connecting with Spanish speakers. It's the best thing you could do. But these are called possessive pronouns. Mio, mia, masculine, feminine. That's mine, mine. Tuyo, tuya, yours. Suyo, suya, his or hers. Or yours, if we're using usted. Nuestro, nuestra. That's ours. Vuestro, yours. If you're talking to a group of more than one people. Vuestro, vuestra. So masculine and then feminine. Suyo, suya. Theirs, ellos, ella, that's the ellos or ellas, that's the equivalent, right? Or yours, ustedes, if you're talking formally. So they have masculine and feminine forms, and they're also in the plural as well, but we'll get to it. We're just going to get in there, and we're going to figure it out. Mi casa, my house, mi casa. Very common Spanish phrase, mi casa es tu casa, you know, that, that one. Now, if you wanted to say the house is mine... It's going to be la casa, the noun. Es, it is, the verb, ser. Mia, mine. And you notice how it's an A on it. Because the casa, it, it's, the gender matches up with the noun. The gender of the noun here, la, it's feminine. So it's mia. So even though I am a man and I'm saying it, it's going to be mia. Because it's referring to the noun. So always remember that. It's quite easy to get confused. But it's always going to match up with the noun. And actually, if we go back one, mio, mia, that's the only one out of these that has an accent on. So another top top tip to remember that. Right, tus tijeras, your scissors. Las tijeras son tuyas. The scissors are yours. Okay, and here we've got a plural example. Las tijeras, the scissors. Son are tuyas. So tuya, it's feminine, like the scissors. Usually ends in AS. Tuyas matches up with that. All right. So going back to this, mio, mia, tuyo, tuyas. So it depends on the noun. So is it masculine? Is it feminine? Is it singular? Is it plural? And then you're going to add, add these on. Okay. Before I show you one more trick with this, please do subscribe. There's quite a few of you who are not, and it means, it means a lot to me. It helps me out. So just whack that subscribe button, click on it, and... I can't thank you enough. Gracias. So we've just seen las tijeras son tuyas. And sometimes you might hear if someone says, ¿Quiénes son las tijeras? Whose scissors are these? Whose are the scissors? You might reply if you're in the office, son las tuyas. And so here we, we admit las tijeras. We just say, son, they are las tuyas. Because we already know what the noun is, the scissors. We already know that's the question being asked. And here you could just say, son tuyas, they're yours. But sometimes in Spanish you'll hear the article, definite article, lo or las in here, or el, um, las in here. And that is adding emphasis. Son las tuyas. So, for example, if someone's in the office and they keep saying, like, oh, whose scissors are these? Whose scissors are these? And you know that they belong to that person and they've asked it a few times and you're a little bit annoyed. You could say, son las tuyas. They're yours, okay? So you might see that as well often. So just remember this table. Don't overthink it. It will come in time. Just put yourself out there. You're going to make mistakes. That's the whole point. We're not looking for perfection here. We're not looking about just practicing in your room. We're looking about getting out there and experiencing life in Spanish in its fullness. So that's what we have here. Go through this. It will come. It will flow. And if you like this video, there's a great one I just did on apostrophes in Spanish, kind of related to this. So Maria's book, they don't have apostrophes in Spanish. They're going to say it in a different way. So check out that short video. Gracias, chicos. Please do like this video. Subscribe to the canal otra vez. Leave any comments you have. I'll get back to you. Let me know if you want me to create a video on anything. Un abrazo. Ciao.